What's going on everyone? So I got my new mic set up. I don't know how well it's going to sound, but hopefully it corrects some of the issues that uh, I had some complaints in the comments about on various different videos. They were just saying that my mic quality wasn't good. They're getting a lot of echoing, things like that. So hopefully this Rode microphone and all the various adapters I had to purchase to make it work with my iPhone sounds a little bit better. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is my Lakeline plate for my Sigro Mirror Zero finally came in and I have a few different um, photos that I took in comparison to like the UTG base plate or mounting plate, optic mounting plate, and as well as my, it was like a universal one. This one fits so much better. It puts the sight more forward it's designed for this so i mean it, it just it fits perfect and so that is cool and this is the first time i'm actually using the romeo zero i got a video that's going to come up about that later on um i got to do some more testing and stuff but today's video is just about this mounting plate by lake line and just seeing if it's worth what you pay i mean it costs a little bit more than the ones you get on amazon but it's from somebody that's a little bit more reputable it does make it sit a little bit more flush. I've got suppressor height sight up front. I've already looked, you can co-witness with it. So I just gotta test and see how well the red dot works on it and the co-witnessing and things like that. So this is just about the plate itself today and uh, we're gonna go from there. But let's head to the range and see what happens. There's a lot of people at the range today so I'm probably not gonna do a lot of talking. I'm just gonna test it out. I got it at five yards. Shoot the bottom right one. That was at five yards. I'm gonna do the middle one at seven. That's at seven yards. Uh, that was me. I anticipated the trigger a little too early. So I got two magazines with five each in them and I'm gonna try to do a little tactical reload type deal with it. redo that I feel like I could have done better I, I got three in each messing up on my reload. I'm gonna give it one more attempt. I got three in each. I'm gonna shoot the bottom left one and see if I do better.
That was at five yards. Seems to be holding zero and everything pretty good. So, it went pretty well. Uh, held zero. I am definitely rusty. I need to practice. I was practicing a lot more when I had um, just started doing my 43X build. And I was going to the range and I was practicing reloads and stuff and just dropping mags, like empty mags at the, at the house and dropping them and reloading them. And so I got pretty uh, efficient with the 43X, but I have not done that with the G3C. So I kind of expected not to do as well, but I was also a little bit disappointed in myself. I, I thought I'd do a little bit better than I did, but um, yeah, I just got to keep practicing, but that is not relevant to this. So it held zero. The plate held up good. Everything seems to be fine. That plate is just substantially better than the universal ones that you can get. Um, don't get me wrong, the UCG mount probably works great for like an RMR style, uh, which the only one I have is a clone RMR that was absolutely terrible, if you haven't seen that video. But the universal mount, it works. I mean, it it lets you mount various different red dots, but it just, uh, it, it was not good for the Romeo Zero. I will establish that right off the bat. It was actually terrible for that one. But it worked, but the Lakeline one, just the quality difference is significant. I'm gonna try to drive and see if this mic's gonna fall down or not. But it's much thinner. The sight sits way lower. You can co-witness with it. Uh, the co-witnessing, uh, it works. It actually uh, hit pretty much on target. I mean, it was a little bit lower than what I thought I was aiming at, but it wasn't bad um so yeah that utg mount or not the utg the lake line mount is actually really good and i'd recommend it if, if you're looking for an alternative to getting your slide milled i feel like that lake line mount would be a pretty solid way to go uh, i might actually not get my slide milled i might just keep running that another thing i got to test out which is for the sig romeo zero is how long that battery life's gonna stay alive might lose the mic on this one. Nope, stayed in place. Um, because it is a shake awake type style and it wakes up really easy, like I mean, you just barely bump it, it wakes up. The whole time I'm driving, technically the light's gonna be on. So I'm curious to see how fast the battery's gonna die compared to what they say. And I'll go over those statistics on the actual Romeo Zero video. This is just about the mount. So if you're looking for a mount, uh, Lakeline LLC, this is the second one that we've gotten from Lakeline LLC. The first one was for the Ruger Security 9 Compact. And because that was for Security 9 Compact and the Security 9, it was wider than the Security 9 Compact slide, but it was still a really good quality mount. And uh, yeah, so both their optic mounts that we've used so far have been really good and I'm extremely happy with this one you do pay a little bit more with it um, it's in the I think I paid like 32 33 I think it came up to 38 bucks after taxes and shipping something like that but it works and it works well and the optic sits lower to the slide it's pretty much everything I would want out of a dovetail optic mount so hopefully this video helped you all out if, it, if you were on the fence about ordering one or if you were looking for one and where to get it this is the one I would get if you're running the Romeo Zero or the other optic that it supports I'll put that right here in words because I'm not sure which one that is but so if you were running those sites and you were looking for an optic mount for either the G3C or if you've got a Glock that you're trying to run them on this is the uh, the plate I would uh, I would recommend I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch y'all later.